So we are in Peabody, Mass. Got an old woodpecker hangout spot here and it looks like we're putting a ladder up. Looks like there's gonna be some mop back here. We're gonna try to locate these girls. Did some thermal from the inside and couldn't get a location. House was built in the late 1800s. So, but it looks like they're going to the left. And I'm hoping they're on this wall. This is the eastern side as you see the sun right here. Mm -hmm. So and there's a ton of activity here. So we're gonna pop this outside corner board off and pop some of the siding to see what's going on with cone B removal. Okay, we have the board popped off, the hole was. You know, look into this. Why this is so what's going on here? There's a cavity here or something. We're gonna pull a couple of the siding off here and see where they're going, what's going on, and locate. This is the ceiling height or floor height, however you call it. That window sits on the floor pretty much, so we're right at the height. So we'll see if it's in the ceiling or if it's in the wall here. All right, so we exposed it. Sorry about the ladder. They chew all the way down. You can see the entrance and they come here and there's a chew mark here where they're coming out. Still searching. All right, so we finally located them. That's what they're doing. They're flying to that corner there where the hole is. They're walking underneath the second floor right there. And then they were kind of like stopping right here and they were walking up. So I ended up taking my hammer in there and popping it, you know, to kind of like pull it apart to see in there, up underneath that plywood with a light. And I found we were walking up to where there's a separation between um, above the double plate of the wall and then the box sill, there was a hole there and they were walking in. So then I'll show you inside what we found. So the woodpecker, I always thought the woodpecker was banging on there because he was trying to be the louse to get the girls. Nope. But I guess he was So that was a chase. Now, this doesn't happen very often, but they're flying into that corner and, and then they're walking over four feet, you know, to get into where they're going. It's amazing because all these bays down below here are actually wide open, no insulation. Then it could have took any of those bays, which is still the east side, um, to make up residency and, and where they want to live. But they went all the way over there and they're actually in the ceiling. So um, it's just crazy how they do that. And then obviously where they're coming in and out, this is exactly where they were. They chewed a hole through this as well. So you never know, but it takes a lot of thought process of I've built 38 years of my life and um, then working with the bees here for the last like 10 years and understanding things takes all that knowledge. I was inside, up, upstairs, inside, outside, everywhere to try to chase them down where they were going. And now we're finally here, we get a bee and we'll come back here next week and remove them, keep them safe. Like home bee removal, that's what it takes. Okay, we are back in Peabody and we are here for a honeybee removal cutout. So, as it was to bring it back, see what's going on here. We moved, had to find them. They're going on the corner and they walked over five feet. They come in here, which is right here. As we, where are they? There they are. Right there, you see that heat signature right there. So, right there. So, right here, so I'm gonna locate them, cut the ceiling out, get to them, expose them. And everything's set in here. I got the windows open, which is perfect. They'll fly out, go back in until I get them all in. Everything's ready. The frames for the cut comb we're going to put in here. The light when I need it. Just a lot. Water down here for honey comb, honeycomb, tube belt, everything. Vacuum. Let's get it going here with comb B removal. We're in the right place. There they are. Okay, so did some test holes to see how wide it is. There's end of the bees right there. There's still bees over here and it's kind of a weird structure right here. I'm hitting something right here. So I'm gonna cut the joist go like this. Strappings right here. 
So I'm going to cut down this joist here, back and back to expose that area right there. All right, we got the hole cut. It's like cement board in there. It's literally taking the teeth off the sawzall. Um, <laughs> so this is probably going to, I mean, there's no doubt it's got chicken wire in it, some kind of lath in there. So we'll pop this off and get a look here and see what's going on. House is built like in 1850, so you know how that goes. Give a little preview here of opening this up. Let's see what we've got here. See how this comes down. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. A lot of mysteries right now. This stuff's not even budging. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I cut that a little bit more. Hold on. So it's cement board with diamond lath behind it. So it's making it super hard to get back to the pieces, unfortunately. Okay, making a little progress here. Try to zoom in a little bit, see if you can see what's going on. She is. I did a little bit more cutting, but there was so much weird framing going on. Couldn't understand it. So it goes this way, and there's obviously slat. Slats that go back and forth as the ferron. Of course, there's a wire. They're always a wire. We'll expose this a little bit more and get to it. Get back here. Okay, got everything cleaned up. Ready to go. Opened up. We'll start working with this corner. They're layered like this. So I'll start sucking the bees off the bottom to get the bulk of the colony uh, removed. And that way, when I'm getting into uh, removing the comb, it's less bees to deal with to try to find the queen. So, good size colony. It's about 20 inches wide. And probably about the same 20 inches uh, deep. So, Let's get into it. One thing I had to show, Christian man, there's always symbols of God always around. So cool to see it. Okay, we're 
exposing it a little bit here. You can see how the comb is. Tucked through that wire in the middle. Obviously that's the double plate right there where I saw them from the outside coming through a little bit of a hole. So, working, sucking up the numbers, and we'll start in this corner right here. Piece by piece. Now we're finally getting into the cat brood. See right there. That's all cat brood. So. Alright, we got five comb removed. Starting to get into the brood comb. Getting into a little bit bigger comb patterns here besides where that 2x4 came through. Kind of screwed it all up here, and then there's a wire through it too. We're going to know 9 or 10 comb to go through, but it's not perfect comb, so it's going to be hard to use it for a cut comb, but just in my first one, uh, I'll get as many as I can. So I had to shut the windows, there was robbing happening, you can see them all trying to come in, they're all over the floor, all the window here. So, I had to batten it up because they came in quick. So, get them all cleaned up. Alright, we're 10 comb in. No signs of the queen yet. There's that wire that runs through. So, that's the back wall. So, we're getting there. This is going to probably be the last full comb. And the wire goes through and it gets real small in the corner there as far as comb. But I'll try to work, let these bees come out, and I don't want to have a cluster in the corner. I know they can get up through here too, as I saw them earlier up on the other side. So, almost there. That's how the comb looks coming out of there.
cross that's going to cut around everything. The bees, structure, wires, nail sticking through the floor. This part's going to be a little tricky. Piece of wood that comes down. Second, let me vacuum this up. Well, it's hard to see. There she is. A big old queen. I got her. I'm getting down to the last few. See when they did the addition, this is the old roof rafter here. So, you can see all the comb that were cut out. Number 12 there. So looks like we got like three or four left. Let's get it. So I came outside. What they're doing is uh, they were going in through here, and the addition that was put up top was about a half inch away the plywood, and they were crawling all the way down the plate like you saw in the beginning and going in right there to where that was the ceiling. So now I foamed all of that so they can't get in and now I'll just deal with the residual inside PBD mass all right August 26th cut out 17 PBD mass these girls are not going to be happy with me at all so I'm trying to it's like 9.30 at night just getting back Try to stand in the way here where you guys can see everything. Kind of do this quick and dump them in because they are going to be antsy. Here we go. Get 
queen in. Line and a marker. I'm just going to get her in. Then. She's walking right there. it. PB Mass. Girls are back together and this is going to be a stack. This may be like 20,000 in here. See you in the next one. Wickcomb B removal.